freakiest or creepiest thing you've ever found? Oh, the, well, the creepiest, and this is, this wasn't found with a metal detector. This was found while metal detecting, and this was in Georgia uh, back in the early days. My mom and I were, we were walking through some woods, and I had my metal detector and swinging it, and we, we kind of came up over a little hill that was like a little berm or something, and come down the other side, there was a, a blow-up doll <laughs> in there. <laughs> and uh, we turned and ran. <laughs> yeah, that I is just, creepy. Yeah. That was creepy, so yeah. Creepy. That's definitely the creepiest thing. Um, but the uh, most so unusual... It, when you saw it, did you think it was like a dead body at first? What did you think? At first, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, we kind of screamed at first and then realized what it was and were pretty grossed out. So... <laughs> We just kind of turned and left. <laughs> um, that just <laughs> reminded me of something that I saw one time when I was out swinging a metal detector in the woods. And I can't repeat it on here, but it was <laughs> appalling. I've never seen anything like it. And I'm sure yeah. I never will see anything like never it again. Never will again. Hopefully and, never will again. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's just, you never know. You never know what you're going to come up on. But, um, yeah, I don't know what the, probably the, I mean, the ring probably would rank up there with unusual for for where it was. Um, yeah, I, I don't really, uh, can't really pinpoint any specific thing right off the top of my head. But, every, but you know, everything you find is really and it, you know, and I just don't, I just don't really throw anything away either. I've just got buckets and buckets and boxes and, you know, it drives my husband crazy with all my stuff everywhere, but I'm afraid to throw anything away because I have heard so many stories of people throwing things away and then realizing <laughs> later they threw something valuable away. <laughs> so yeah, just kind of hang on to it. Yeah, that, and it's so hard to, like, get the time to go through. <laughs> like, I found yeah, it's, it is. Uh, this past year is when I finally sat down and started going through, like, the totes got out of control and the cardboard boxes. And I was like, all right, I'm going to do the cardboard boxes first because that's, that's not mm-hmm. good to leave anything in, the, in them, um, mm-hmm. especially with humidity in the summer. And then, every, yeah, so um, most of it was easy to, like, throw in the water to see okay is there anything on this is there anything and it's like even then it's i don't know <laughs> i'm like at, at a point i'm like all right so some of this has to go <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> well i keep threatening to uh build myself a um electrolysis tub mm-hmm. you know and start trying to clean some of it up and what i have but haven't gotten around to that yet so maybe, <laughs> maybe one day. <laughs> too funny. Uh, too uh, funny. So you were just at that event. Are you going to be at any upcoming mm-hmm. events? Um, I would love to. I'd love to be at Gypsy's birthday bash. That that would be a you know really neat thing. I'm a little bit tired with you know my we my husband. And I don't have never had kids but we have animals and you know you get so many cats and dogs and all and Mm -hmm. uh, makes it kind of hard to leave so I go places by myself I don't mind doing that I love doing it but he doesn't particularly like me being gone too much so uh the birthday bash is probably out of the question I know there's a couple of um a couple of things coming up uh soon um, there's a show actually in Nashville that American Digger is going to be set up at, and I would love to go to that, but I doubt I'll be able to make it, but I will be at Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, they put on American Digger has a show in Charleston and, uh, I'm definitely going to that. So that's probably, as far as I know, that's going to be the, you know, my next, my next thing nice. would be Charleston. And any hunts between now and then, I I just don't know. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully I'll get to do something. 
uh, I want to get down to one of the Charleston or the Nashville shows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you ought to. You ought to come on down. It's I know. Fun. It's, yeah, it's the planning. <laughs> it's the planning. I know. Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah. So we got about, what, 10 more minutes with you before you got to drop off to jump on? Uh, to- yeah. All right. Yeah, um, that that's about right. Yeah, that yeah, they usually call me about quarter till, so <laughs> 10 more minutes should be good. All right, I have a question for you. This is a new one I don't think I've asked mm-hmm. anybody else, but I figure let's get others point of views. You're in a you're at a 1700s site, all right? Giant uh-huh. field. You're out there, you're detecting. You end up on like an hour of no signals, silence. Yeah. What yep. do you do? <laughs> uh, first thing I do is run my detector over my shovel and make sure yeah. it's working. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You know, I actually kind of experienced that in Arkansas because <laughs> <laughs> I managed to get out there and walk a lot without getting any signals. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, Probably would just keep going. I mean, you know, I'm I'm back to zigzag all around too. I don't really walk in any straight lines, mm-hmm. so um, an hour goes pretty quick. And if I'm really getting absolutely nothing, yeah, I might move to a different area. Or, um, uh, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I figured it's, you know, everybody has a different, you know, all detectorists yeah. have a different way that they go about it. I know some would change their programs right. or um like a couple yeah. people in chat said they turn the machine off and not and then back on and start all over and Yeah. Me, I'd pull Maybe, out the LIDAR yeah. and go, okay, I know there's something here. Increase the sensitivity. <laughs> yeah, increase the sensitivity. Ground balance it. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I... yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's, then I, that's a good question. I, I know some detectors that were detectorists that would probably that that would might turn off their machine and be like, oh, I'll start again tomorrow. So <laughs> Yeah. I probably wouldn't do that. I I would keep on it, you know, even if I just had to move to a different location. Um yeah, I I probably start wondering after an hour with absolutely nothing at all. Yeah, that would be that would be kind of kind of odd but <laughs> yeah i don't know haven't really been <laughs> yeah been in that situation <laughs> so have, um yep. i know we're running close to out of time but real quickly mm-hmm. you said you do yeah. some dump digging and and bottle digging um, yeah have you found any favorite things in in those dumps or bo- favorite bottles or anything um well it's since I've dug in a bottle dump, um, I mean, you know, decades, several decades probably. Um, but yeah, ink, ink bottle, ink wells, you know, were always fun to find. Coca Cola wow. bottles, I love finding Coca Cola bottles. Oh, me too. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I can't really name any any certain ones. I, I always thought yeah. ink wells were were really neat. That was probably yeah. one of my favorite things to find. Right. So, Ever find any yeah. poison bottles or anything like that? Yeah. Um, in fact, where uh, where my family lives now in northeast Georgia, there's an old house site, and there's a, a it's there's a hill that goes down from the old home site, and you could pick bottles up there. And there, I think we actually picked up an old poison bottle from there you just have to kind of rake the leaves around maybe do a little probing you know and um but there was there was a few bottles there and i believe there was a poison bottle pretty sure so um but yeah i I would love to find a bottle dump somewhere i yeah i don't know that there are too many around here because it's such rocky soil so i don't know i don't know how the people around here what they did with their trash to be honest i haven't been able to determine that but um but that would be that would be something i'd love to get back into is bottle dump digging yeah so it's if so you, much fun if you ever 
Yeah, if you ever want to get together and do that, let me know. <laughs> I'll well, be up for that. You can always come to Texas. We've got plenty of little yeah. old dumps around <laughs> here. So yeah, yeah. And thank you too. And we've got yeah, them on the coast. Sure. We've got them on the coast up here, and technically, we call it mud larking. At low tide, you go out and you pull out bottles and <laughs> coins and yep, marbles that and buttons. That is and... something I would love to do. Yeah, and you've got cellar holes up there too, don't we, you? Up in the northeast. Do. Yep, yep. Yeah, holes. that's that's somewhere I would love to go and detect. I've never done a cellar hole before, but they look fascinating. They are pretty neat. It's neat to know you're standing in, you know, what what was there at one point. <laughs> mm-hmm. And um, they're just all so different because you can tell by the size or the shape, if they're barns or if they're the home or it, they're, they really are pretty cool. Yeah, um, I do admit, yeah. not fun. You'd not fun to hunt in the summer with the poison ivy and the overgrowth, but come spring, oh, fall, and winter, yeah. they are great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree with you there. <laughs> uh, we tend to have yeah. we have uh, two questions that are um, uh, just we ask our guests, and I'll do one, mm-hmm. and then Gypsy can do the other. So um, it's kind of a goofy question. If you could be a superhero <laughs> and have those superpowers <laughs> while treasure hunting, who would you choose and why? Or what superpower would you choose? Mm. Well, obviously, I most would answer that they could have x-ray vision and see through the ground. <laughs> <laughs> right. Whatever superhero that is, I don't know. I'm not really up on superheroes. Yeah. But I would, yeah, definitely need uh, ground ground penetrating vision. I guess you'd call it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> well, you don't have to dig all those pull tabs. You just go mm, exactly I'll that one. And I'll go to this one <laughs> for sure. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we've got these kind of corny. We save our kind of corny questions to the very end. Oh, that's but, fun. Um, it makes it fun. Uh, but this yeah. one. This one now is not as corny as that one, I guess. <laughs> but if you could detect anywhere in the world, anywhere, uh, without any stipulations, like they mm-hmm. just say, you can, you know, maybe some properties that are off limits or some pl- some place you'd love to go that you never have been. Mm-hmm. Uh, where would that be? England, no doubt. You, I would love to go, to, to, England? go to England. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just so much history there, and just I, I just think England would be a fascinating. Right. Yeah. yeah. And Butch and them—they just got back. Anita and yeah. Butch and who? Uh, I think mm-hmm. some of the other ones went. Did Riley go with them? Mm-hmm. No, no, yeah. Riley didn't go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, they did. They did. They found some really neat stuff over there. Um, mm-hmm. And I think part of it for me is I love the uh, the well I love British TV shows anyway but the one I just love that show and it, it it's just really made me want to go to England and <laughs> right. see you know yeah see all the places where the show was filmed and detect and all the areas where you know go see Sutton Who and the the you know Anglo Saxon yeah England no doubt I would love to go there. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. But I would take anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, good luck with the show tonight. And well, thank th- you, and thank you for having me. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, and for the- thanks for being here. We we love hearing your stories, and we'll have to have you well, back on you. sometime again uh, where we can hear more. I'm sure you've got plenty more stories to tell. <laughs> oh, Sure. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it was so nice to to talk to both of you, and I really, really had a great time. Well, thank you, and good luck tonight. And uh, hopefully, well, we'll you. see you soon at one of these hunts, yeah. or if, if not yeah. sooner. Yep, definitely. I look forward to it. All thank right. You, well, thanks. Thanks, Debbie. You have a good night. Thank you. Y'all do too. We'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
So hey, Gypsy. All right. <laughs>